here we go. I like this one. Especially this one. This one right here. I like this one a lot. Yep, I sure do. <laughs> it only has a single curve. But it ends right here. You know, the port. So there wasn't a necessary for any other curves on the inside. Bed liner. So it's got that rubber that rubber feel to it the led lights of course the down for sound plexi by 11 by 11 and 8 by 11 and 8 plexi yeah full viewing window not no 10 by 10 and of course we're going to be getting the steve steve mead terminals i'm going to get these ones right here of course we always have the options of the two and four right here of course got my dd1 with the steve mead hooks us all up over here so yep that's going to be plugged in right in there. Got the down for sound logo. I'm thinking about dripping in some epoxy for the hell of it. Just because I think it would go good with this enclosure. But yes sir. I'm kind of stoked. It came out really nice. Not something super fancy. But extremely practical. That looks great. And it's heavy duty. Got two and an eighth baffle. Uh, it's actually two and a quarter. But I have it. I never flush mount them all the way with flush mount. It's so damn hard to get the subs out. And uh, you'll damage anything trying to get it out. So that's the reason why I don't have flush mount them all the way down. But uh, you can always request it, but uh, I'll forget. <laughs> all right. Till the next time. Yup, yup. Down for sound. Right there. <laughs>